sped up so that Christchurch schools get the modern facilities that they need. Question number five, the Honourable Judith Collins. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Housing and Urban Development, does he stand by all his reported statements regarding KiwiBuild? The Honourable Phil Twyford. <coughs> yes, in including my recent tweets. Wonderful. <laughs> when he was reported yesterday by stuff.co.nz stating that KiwiBuild is not at risk of cost overruns because the larger contractors are not particularly involved in residential construction, did he know that a Housing New Zealand apartment block was being built by Ebert Construction that went into receivership last week? Yes. Hmm. Then why did he say that? Because while there is some overlap between the vertical infrastructure sector and the residential market, by and large they are two separate markets with different players and with different approaches to contracting. Is he now saying that large construction companies will not be building Kiwi Build and that small owner operators companies will be contracted to build for Kiwi Build even when that involves large apartment blocks that he's for? seen in Northcote and also the Unitec sites? No, I'm not saying that, but um, I, I would wonder really, is the member using the collapse of Ebert construction as yet another excuse for her party not building affordable or state housing? Order. If construction companies currently follow a, quote, least cost procurement model, end quote, does his announcement yesterday to relook at procurement practices mean that Kiwi Build house prices will now also rise in cost? Well, while the government has taken uh, some responsibility of leadership because of the fact that uh, public sector procurement accounts for 18 per cent of the business in the vertical infrastructure market, I think that's the, the right and responsible thing to do to work with industry players to find new ways of procurement that can create a more efficient and competitive market. But that's not necessary. That's not necessary in relation to the KiwiBuild program because we already have put in place a highly collaborative and engaging process for working with developers to do the deals that will deliver the affordable homes that New Zealanders desperately want. Mr. Point of Order, Mr. Speaker, point of order, I wonder if you Jeffrey. believe that that question has been addressed sufficiently. I think, I, I, I think it has been addressed. Answered, probably not, but it was addressed. Thank you. Uh, question number six, Jamie Lee Ross. Uh, Mr. Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Transport.